Hello everyone and uh, welcome to uh, Brussels and I think Sofia, I'm not sure, so uh, for a new episode of Hashtag Playing Together. Hello, we Hello. are Dr. the Not, Desi and Jochen and today we have Dr. Ron with us, playing with us. Hi! Dr. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hi, Desi and Johan. Yeah, th I'm, uh, I am in Sofia, Bulgaria. Thank you so much for having me here. It's nice. I, to I, I am from Sofia, Bulgaria, but I'm in Brussels. <laughs> I'm, fr I'm from Chicago, so we're all in a different place. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay. Same planet. Come on. Same, same place. <laughs> Depending on how much place, yeah. Exactly. What's the weather there today? Uh, it started uh, sort of cool and gray, and now it's warmish and sunnyish. Oh, that's that's good. Here is kind of sunnyish, but it's raining and there is wind. It's super cold. It's very mm. strange or very typical, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like twelve degrees. It's been beautiful February and March here so far. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> this is always talking about the. There's a mountain in Sofia. So, yes. Uh, I, I can I can see it right can now. Can you see it? Here. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Vito, Vitosha. Vitosha, yes. Yeah. Vitosha, yeah. Is that something you like to do? Go up to the mountain for a walk, or I? Uh, it's a great secret that Bulgaria is just a beautiful, beautiful country. There's mountains and forests everywhere, and just getting into nature is easy, and it's very rejuvenating. It's very nice. And I, I love the the Rodopi Mountains. It's uh, it's in the southern part, and it's just it's just really beautiful. Unfortunately, there are no mountains in Belgium. There is one hill, though. <laughs> <laughs> how, tall, how tall is the hill? Uh, I don't know. Five meter, meters. <laughs> Great. No, no, I think it's. I, I really don't know. Oh, I'm so ashamed now. I don't know the highest no, it's, point. It's, it's about uh, 50 meters. No, I, no I, at least 500 meters. Oh, come <laughs> yeah, on. At least, yeah. <laughs> That's a building. That's not a building. <laughs> <laughs> it's near the Barak Michel. You can even sometimes ski in Belgium. Yeah, so usually a few days, there's a, there's a ski lift with a slope. It might be two or three, I think. And uh, every time there is snow, so that's two or three days a year, uh, a lot of people are going uh, just for skiing. And they can, you can rent skis and it's, it's everything there, yeah? And I, I did it uh, once uh, <laughs> in my life. And I, I really like to ski. Um, but so we have a ski slope in Belgium. Oh, oh. Very, yeah. <laughs> oh, but only, only only once because it was so dangerous yeah <laughs> well i was still very little and it was so cold and you had to wait such a long time because if you only have one ski slope in a country <laughs> everyone right. knows <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> it was freezing cold i remember that <laughs> okay well, let's uh, let's do some improv, a little story, and then after that, uh, Doctor Ron, we are going through um, a little chat about improv and the things you do, uh, and we have usually a suggestion from from the magical hats. Oh, uh, nice. Let me take a piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> this is a, 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 a suggestion from Nikki Lennon. And the message is, or the, or the inspiration, good, I'm happy. Oh, thank you, Nikki. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. great. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Okay, let's, let's have do some improv. allergy season I don't even know what's wrong with me now there is something in my eyes and my my head is killing me and my nose is ah a nightmare Oof. Uh, oh oh Oh, 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 oh. Hello? Yeah. Yes, 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 I'm, I'm, 
I'm here. I just, uh, it makes me so, I'm trying to absorb some of your suffering. Oh, thank you. I don't think that's possible though, but just, I'm not contagious. Don't worry. It's, it's, I have like five allergies. Well, I, as, as your suffering sponge, I, that's my job. I want to absorb you. you I want to catch everything that you have. Can you catch an allergy? I can catch allergies. I can catch aches and pains. Uh, I can catch heartbreak. Okay. <laughs> In that case. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I, I really feel it. I, yeah. I feel it. No. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I, I mean, my husband just left me yesterday no. <laughs> for another woman and he is coming today to take his furniture all the furniture actually oh. and life is a nightmare right now oh. i'm so sorry I'm sorry uh, rachel i mean it's maybe it's the furniture that's giving you the allergies and maybe you can something will something good will happen to that and you can Get rid of all the ugly furniture and replace it with something beautiful of your own. Yeah, but I love my husband. Oh, look. Ah. Yeah, see? Oh, I can really feel that. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. It, it, uh, don't, don't apologize. This is my job. How, how is this your job? In a, in a past life, I suspect everything was great. It was perfect. Life always went my way, and uh, and I think the universe is trying to show me that what it's like, what it's oh, like. Oh, like a revenge! It's uh, it's it's teaching me a lesson. Ah, it's okay. teaching me. Ah, ow! Ow! Ah! Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. It's teaching me a lesson. Yeah, here. Maybe, 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 maybe you can meet my husband when he comes here in five minutes okay um we've been together for 12 years and now he met this woman with her big new boobs and she's oh. so interesting and sexy and uh, i'm in my sweatpants and with old boobs allergies. and yeah. old boobs yeah. i don't have fake big boobs that's it's okay. I mean, I mean, I feel how it hurts your back, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but here. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go. Okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mike. I uh, I have an appointment with Rachel. <laughs> uh, some unpleasant things to do with a divorce. It's like dividing everything, you know. I want to have my television. I want to have my video collection. <laughs> uh, uh, Who are you? Trying, uh, uh, I'm I'm Rachel. I'm your suffering absorption, but the, you can you can call me uh, Clyde. Clyde, mm -hmm. you are the suffering sponge of Rachel. Well, I'm, I'm trying to absorb Rachel's suffering, but what what I'm picking up from you is. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? It's I, I I feel such you're you're very happy inside. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. You can't believe it's suffering spun glide. For the first time in my life, I feel happy. Happy and alive. <laughs> happy and alive with a new relationship. You know, after a while, 
I mean, when you're young and you marry, you think it's forever and ever, you know, suffering sponge, Clyde. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after a while you think, is this it? Is this it? Is this life? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you, you found you found something. You found a solution. You found a, a life. Maybe this life of routine is not made for you. I found Elizabeth. That's the <gasps> trick, you know. Elizabeth. <sighs> But uh, no, we just. Nasty business, you know. I don't hope you go into any legal procedure. I just want to have my share of the property and the house and whatever. Apparently, all the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, when you sneeze, all of your joy comes out and it just really tickles me. Suffering Sponge Clyde, you give me a good feeling. I feel even more happier than I was before. <laughs> I take you with me. Well, You're I, part of the divorce. Maybe split everything up. I take you with me. Well, I I belong to to most to both of you. I, I, I belong to the house. I belong to this relationship in in this coupling. I I tried my best through the years. You didn't hear me before because it was just never, all routine, routine, routine. Never ever I knew you existed, but now you can join me. I will demand, Rachel, that you will go with me. I, I, oh. Mike, you're here. You met the sponge. <sighs> Sorry. It's you! <laughs> oh, Rachel, I'm so, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. And, oh, oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, it, it hurts here. It hurts here. Uh. So, Rachel, I was thinking. The sponge is mine, and you can keep the television. I don't watch TV. Yeah, then you, you have to learn to watch TV. What else are you going to do on your own, sitting here? He's, he's, he, has a, he has a point, Rachel. Think, think about it. He's taking all of the other furniture. And now that I'm with Elizabeth, I will not have time to watch television anymore with Elizabeth. You understand? Yeah, I... I felt kind of inspired by by you, Mike, and uh, I registered in a, in an app <coughs> for dating. Date, it's a dating app, <laughs> and I have 17 matches. Okay, that's a oh. lot. Oh, that, that, it's it's starting to come to it's starting to come together. It's starting. Uh -uh. Yeah, but and Rachel, I, I was, Rachel, yeah, I can start dating as well. Rachel, yeah, Rachel, uh, yeah. Come, you have to be careful. Yeah, these are all fake profiles. These are all men, if they are men, who pretend to be interested. You know. Oh, it's fine. Oh. No, 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 Rachel, just be careful. I don't want. What? I, 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 I need the risk now. No, it's not a good yeah. idea. Sponge, We're sponge, say We're something. Here. Well, I mean, you're both going through so many different emotions and so many different things, both inside and outside. I mean, and if an app is what it takes to, to mend a broken heart, I totally endorse that. If just in the same way that new boobs, right, was exciting for you. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, believe, I believe you met this person through an app. Mm -hmm. Is that true? It doesn't matter where I met Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 there's a contradiction here. There's a contradiction. I love contradictions. They tickle me. They tickle me. Oh, then it's decided I'm using the app as well. Wow. I oh. would need love. <laughs> Maybe someone with huge uh, sense of humor. So they're out there. They are out there. Ah, ha, ha. Da, 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 da. You so. will never find anyone. But See, the my, thing, my allergies are gone suddenly. Yeah. Ooh, uh, uh, the thing which is breathe. important here, I take the sponge with me, okay? You know, Mike, whew, whew, I'm ready to say that. Ooh. You broke my heart. I also paid for the furniture. So I will keep the furniture because it belongs to this house and I will keep the sponge because it mm. also belongs mm. to this house and you can grab your fake boobs and leave right away. Mm. 
Oh, God, that feels great! You loser! Oh. I have one oh. question. I have one question. I took light. The, oh. uh, the suffering spawns. You said you belong to this house, yeah? And you yeah. belong to this relationship, you said. What yes. happens when I separate from Rachel with you? It's, it's whoever needs me the most. Okay, okay. Who's whoever needs me the most. I'm, I primarily am about suffering. So yeah. whoever, oh, is, oh. whoever is suffering the most. I have a pain in my arm. <laughs> and Elizabeth, yeah. you know, you know, yeah. Elizabeth, after her, her breast implants, she suffers a lot. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Okay, that's, that's not you suffering, Mike. That is... <laughs> but it's a new relationship. You can help oh, us. And I gotta tell you, Mike, that's adorable. Yeah, what it you're is. Trying to do. Yeah, it's but... adorable. <laughs> trying to pretend that you're suffering when you're in, inside, you're so happy. Oh, Oh my, both of us will be happy, right? And we can we can share the suffering sponge if you want. Sometimes, I mean, after Elizabeth that... goes away one day, <laughs> she find, will not go away. I mean, well... find somebody younger and um... younger. She's she's only twenty two. Yeah, but you are thirty seven. Right, and and your money is not going to last forever, and. No. You know, you're when when you're 50, she's still going to be in her 30s. I mean, but I'll be there for you, Mike. I'll be there for you when you when it's your turn to suffer. Yeah. 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 I'll absorb all of that. I'm I'm grateful for that suffering sponge glide, but I'm now also concerned about what things you guys are telling. I mean, Elizabeth leaving me when I'm 50 years old and then I'm old and on my own and it's, and my money's gone and... It's sort of like how, right, how Rachel feels right now. Is that my yeah. future? Well, see, suffering is very useful, especially in the beginning. And when you go and you feel better, when you go through this and yeah. you feel better, you're ready to continue and uh, or actually restart. I'm here to remind you that suffering reminds you that you're alive. Mike, don't you feel like you're in a little bit of a dream right now? Yeah. Yeah, everything is nice. Yes. Everything is good. Smile. Life is exciting. The future is, is exciting. And when I come home, everything is new. And, and will it stay like that? Don't worry. You will get your share of suffering one day. The cycle of life, Mike, it doesn't stay the same. But I'm happy now. And that's everything yeah. that counts. I'm happy. <laughs> God, hey, you're, so, oh, I'm, <laughs> you're so happy. I'm, I'm still not happy, but I feel better. Yeah. And uh, I am about to start dating again, which is very exciting. Ending, oh, 18 now. 18. Oh, yeah. 18. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoa. Big sense of humor. Okay, guys. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> huge I, I'm okay, going to... Uh, so, okay, get your TV. Yeah. I don't need the TV. I take yet. the TV and then, uh, yeah, perhaps Clyde, and I don't know if, I don't hope it will be soon, but when it's my turn to suffer, I, I will come to get you. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to come and get me. Just suffer and I'll just be there. Thanks, Clyde. Thanks, Rachel. It's, it's, it's my fate. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Maybe we can get some coffee. Sometime. Okay, and and just be careful okay. with your online dating, yeah. Just yeah. be careful. I don't, I, I don't fancy it. Yeah. So. You, you still care about each other. Oh, of course. Oh. After twelve years. <laughs> of course, I care. It's. Uh, I don't want that she's hurt. I mean, I know. Yeah, it, every, 
every time I read something funny in the paper or online, I kind of... You know you think about him because yeah. he had a pretty big sense of humor as well. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah, that's it didn't tough. Work all the time, but yeah, when it when it did, it was it was very funny. Yeah. Yeah, Mike, remember this joke? Uh, it was about the mouse and the grandmother, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Super funny. <laughs> oh, it was it was so funny. As oh, he jumped on the I, table, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no. I love that joke so much, and when you when you both laughed, oh, uh, you it, know, you, you remember that? It, it it tickled me. It tickled me. Oh yeah, yeah. Mike, uh, Mike is a good person, and he organized a very nice surprise for my mother's birthday <laughs> last month. Rachel, um, how how can you be so positive about me? Because. Good time together, yeah. and I appreciate that. Those are good me memories. They are really good memories. Yeah. I have really good memories. I I prefer to keep the good memories in my past instead instead of the bad memories. See, this will help me to continue, to move on. But I have, I, have I feeling... can tell you my favorite memory. Yeah. It was a time when you were. I mean, I don't. I'm very discreet. I don't watch all night, but times when you were two were lying in bed and and Rachel was almost asleep. She was in that half sleep place and that half waking place. And she, you know how she like wiggles her big toes yes. right before she goes to sleep. <laughs> the deep, and, deep, deep toes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do that all always, and she, Rachel. <laughs> and she, she, you were asleep. <laughs> And she tickled the bottoms of your feet, and you giggled. Yes. And and you woke up, and Rachel was laughing, and you were laughing, and you said, "I think I told a really good joke." And then you fell right back asleep. I love that memory so much. Do you really remember that? Maybe you don't remember that, Mike. But I, don't, I, remember I don't remember that. it. But but I know she tickles me very. <laughs> Big do those. Oh, oh, that's a nice okay. story. I didn't. I didn't knew. What I remember was our uh, our first date, Rachel. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes. We went to that little hamburger restaurant and then to the movies, and. Um, and you forgot I was not eating meat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to. I ordered already. Two cheeseburgers. So I had I had two, but we ordered you a salad. But you were not angry, or I mean, it was such a nice time. I I, I never, yeah. You had a stomach ache from those two cheeseburgers. I felt that all. I felt that for I two did. days. I did. Yeah. Ow! 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 Now you're thinking about it. I feel it. Again. Yeah. And that in the cinema, that first kiss. It's, uh, I will never forget that. It's. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. And I ate your popcorns. <laughs> yeah, you were so hungry. You were so hungry. Yeah, of you course. were so hungry, right? I was sick from uh, the cheeseburgers and empty from. Yeah. You guys had really good times together. Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait to start dating again. Ending 19. Oh, yeah, 19. 19. Okay. Wow, well, I better go. Uh, in the chat with these people first <laughs> okay um, okay uh, I'll, I'll leave you two to yeah sort out your things but thank you for your help yeah I'm, oh i thanks do you guys. think i really helped oh yeah a lot a lot you cannot even imagine oh, oh, oh. i feel that i feel oh uh... your heart is coming together a little bit it will take some time but uh yeah Time heals everything. That's true. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Uh, so, Mike, yeah, uh, just get the TV set. It's all yours. I, I never watch it <laughs> anyways. Rachel. I am. Um... feel so terrible guilty. Ow, 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 ow. Mm. 
you have all the reasons to feel happy. <clears throat> it's true, we have all these nice memories, all these good memories, so many years together. And I'm, I have the feeling I'm throwing everything away for something, I don't know, which might not last. <laughs> Mike, I suffered a lot. I see that. And I, I, I'm still suffering, let's be honest. Suffering, 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 suffering. But I, I just want to move on. How? 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 Don't you think we, we have, you know? It's broken already. Uh, you found somebody else and uh, you left me for, for this person. Oh, 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 oh. We, can, we can be something like friends, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I would like that. To be. Change messages sometimes for your birthday or my birthday or other birthdays. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm sorry for everything I, I've done to you. No, it's fine. That happens sometimes in life. You meet somebody else and you fall in love and... Uh... The thing is, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing now. It's... it's. I don't know. I, I no, just don't I mean, know. I, just I don't, don't know. want to, 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 to be the person who makes you unhappy. I mean, Elizabeth was her name, right? She, she, she looks like a very nice person. <coughs> yeah. Okay. It's, uh, let's keep in stay in touch. Yeah. It's uh, and if if, if if you need if one if you if you ever need something or need some help, just give me a ring. Okay. And I'm I'm happy you're not alone. Yeah, you suffering sponge glide is with you. Mm. Okay. Oh, Twenty one. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm going now with the TV. Okay. Okay. No, just keep the TV. I'm I'm just going. Okay. Bye, Rachel. Bye. Bye. End scene. <laughs> We're suffering, Clyde. <laughs> oh, how brilliant! A suffering sponge. I just love it. <laughs> Oh, that was really nice, uh, you two. That was really oh. great. You guys really went on a really nice emotional journey there. Yeah, uh, yeah. that was super fun to to be a part of. Yeah, great. thanks, thanks to you oh. because I, I thought it was so inspiring, a suffering response. It was so simple and deep at the same time. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved it. I really loved it. <laughs> it was great. Thank you. Both yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> Thank you for sneezing. For sneezing. <laughs> yeah. and, and it looks so real. Uh, the first time I really went, oh, right. <laughs> and then, uh, no, that was, that was really great. I enjoyed that so much. Yeah, me Thank too. You. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a little chat about yeah, improv. Okay. The things you do. Uh, so uh, I... Uh, I've been, uh, I'm from Chicago and I, I, I grew up outside of Chicago, but I lived in Chicago for many years. And I've, I've been going to improv shows for a long, long time since the 90s, because I'm old. And, uh, uh, and I, I got to see, you know, some of the, the, the shows from that period and from uh, the original Improv Olympic and, uh, and Annoyance and uh, just amazing things. Uh, and then many years later, uh, when I was, uh, I'm also late getting my PhD when I was doing my dissertation, I was pretty miserable and I saw an ad, uh, in a bus to take uh, improv lessons from second city. Oh. And I thought, oh my God, I need to do something fun. That would be something fun to do. Yeah. So in 2013, I started taking, uh, improv, uh, lessons, uh, in Chicago and kind of went through all the schools. And then I moved here in 2016. Now I do things in Europe as well. Okay. Yeah. So it was it was originally just to have something fun to do and then 
Uh, as a psychologist, you, you would learn very quickly just how amazingly useful and helpful uh, laughter and improv and then uh, all how, how well that works uh, for people. And then I study groups of people recovering from drug addiction. And then you see how the group mind fits in with that yeah. and, yeah. Uh, and improv as well. So it all just kind of fell in together really nicely. So you teach uh, psychology um, and other things and, and you use then improv principles during your teaching. How, how, does, how does that go? Uh, so the, as you, uh, the thing that improv teaches you is to think on your feet. So uh, you can't anticipate what a student is going to ask. But if, they, if you're talking about emotions or if you're talking about uh, even as things as, as like evolutionary psychology, uh, students will ask you, well, why, why is that? Why should that be? And then you say, well, here, uh, let's do a little scenario here and do a very human thing. And I'm going to react to something you say. And that's why we're built this way. We're built to react. We're built to look at each other. We're built to uh, have emotions. And they, they give information. And so just stuff like that is very, very helpful uh, in just teaching. Uh, some teachers might call it winging it, but I never work with notes. I never work with uh, notes for lectures or anything. Yeah. Uh, it's always the material and then how the students react, and I just feed off of that. Okay. Great. Uh, have you done a lot of shows online? I have uh, not a lot of shows, but a lot of jams and yeah. stuff. Uh, I try and do show uh, a jam or a workshop or something uh, like this. You know, I try to do one thing, you know, six days, at least once, six days a week. Mm -hmm. uh, just to, I live alone. So it's just a nice way of connecting with people. Oh, yeah. Great. yeah. And especially nowadays, you will have a lot of possibilities doing that online. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the you know, I don't want to uh, uh, downplay the, the current situation, but if it wasn't for uh, improv has really moved online in a big way, as you well know, different from almost every other kind of theater. And uh, because of that, you know, I'm going to improvise with people from India, from Singapore, from Japan, from all over the world at any time. Yeah. And uh, that uh, that I didn't even know these communities exist. And now I have friends literally <laughs> all, over the, all over the world now, which is great. And so that's been a real amazing benefit of this. And then knowing what the different styles and the, the way the groups are set up and uh, the things that uh, are funny and uh, topical for each one, it's just really illuminating. I've learned more in the last year about improv than probably the last four years. Ooh. That's great. Yeah. The same for us. <laughs> yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> what, what have you picked up? What have you learned? Well, I honestly, I today now learn something. <laughs> what? The, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we also met a lot, a lot, a lot of people. We did a lot of workshops, as, like as teachers and as students. And uh, you can always get a lot of things from from there yeah yeah uh, and you know just new people trying it um yeah. you know it, it's it, it, it's taught me taught how to interact in this this new sort of way i don't hate it anymore uh you know i sort of made peace with it and stuff it's so that's been a real benefit as yeah. well what i experienced definitely yeah. is that you um be doing improv you have a certain uh, pattern of, of doing it yeah or behaving on stage or with other people and so you can nowadays play improv with some people like like you we never played before and you together make it work and that is so fascinating yeah yeah we have a sort of common code um, not written down, but, but we, we feel each other and, and we act, react. And, uh, and often it doesn't even matter how experienced someone is. Yeah, I mean, someone could do improv for two or three months or, or for, for, for 30 years, but you make something happen and it works. And I love that so much. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Uh, and it really does uh, come through the screen as, yeah. uh, when you're watching it. It's like this is, you know, there's real, it's almost like a little guilty. It's like you're listening in on a, on yeah. a phone call or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, but no, it's really good. The, the best stuff is really good. Yeah. yeah. 
And a lot, I learned a lot of personal things. Like uh, I'm not planning anything anymore up front. I just see what happens and I react. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I I also learned for myself that I prefer more and more the very simple stories, where not well, with a big thing perhaps, but a very simple thing like like very with simple structure. Yeah, yeah. So um, and I also started teaching improv, and you learn so much if you do that too. Yeah, mm -hmm. because yeah, I started uh, also, yeah, yeah. teaching improv, even Chekhov in, for improvisers. It's it's very nice. You get a lot, a lot, a lot of these experience. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking a genres uh, narrative class right now, and it's so fun. Um, and you know, and just being able to take all these teachers from all over the world yes, yes. Uh, at a at a whim that I would never, have, I never would have probably flown to go see them. So yeah, no. it's, oh. it's been it's been really great. Yeah. You're also part of a duo. Yeah. So I. Uh, uh, you know, there's been a lot of heartache in the in the last year. So uh, groups that I've been, you know, decided to not uh, continue uh, through uh, the pandemic. Uh, but yeah, when uh, in Sofia, the the head of Shizzy Pro, uh, Zlatin, the the, the uh, creative director, uh, he and I formed a, a duo uh, and performed for the first time in Copenhagen in like 2016 or 2017. And then occasionally, you know, we would get together here. And so he's very busy and I'm very busy. So the, the nice thing about Tuprov is like, you just kind of get together and you just kind of see what happens. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I love playing with Zlatin. I, I like small groups. Uh, I get a little lost uh, in a large group. Um, so like th people, uh, groups of three and four, I like, and two, I like very, very much. So, it's a different uh, dynamic, uh, yeah. It's it's very there's no there's no place to hide. <laughs> <laughs> and you will be teaching a work an online workshop? Yeah, so I uh, I'm teaching a, a online workshop for the improv place uh, on uh, the psychology of creativity, a two hour workshop that uh, you know just to, to go through some of the. Uh, some of the basics of the research on uh, how creative people think and how to be some practical things and how to be more creative. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and I, I, it's a, I, I teach psychology, so I taught a, a, a semester long psychology of creativity class, and this is just a very condensed version of it. Very condensed. Yeah, we will share the link, we will share the link of uh, your workshop so people can sign, uh, register if they want. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Just send them to us, and we put them on our page. Great. Yeah. Do you have any workshops coming up? Are you Are you two? I am doing two workshops right now, but they are kind of in the middle <laughs> already. Yeah. And I'm planning something, but it's not ready yet. So it will be on very soon. And Johan has something as well. Yeah, I'm doing a start a genre workshop uh, next week, Friday, uh, film noir. And um, yeah, we've uh, planned eight weeks uh, with two shows um, for a, a small group of, uh, of um, participants uh, because then people can really play uh, a lot. So we have six uh, people registered for the course. We are full mm -hmm. and uh, I'm so much, so much looking forward to that. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Phil Noir, uh, if you like Phil Noir, it's such a special um, style of movie making and uh, or, or dialogues or whatever. It's uh, yeah, yeah, it, uh, it it's super be fun. Yeah, <laughs> I teach in Czech and uh, uh, it's uh, it's very special. Both Czechos at the same time, Michael Czechov and Anton Czechov, and it's something really, really special, very em emotional. Yeah. Uh, but I love it, yeah. and I hope I will be able to do it in real life one day. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, I have I have some very silly niche ideas for genres, but I'll until they become real, I'll, I'll keep I'll <laughs> yeah. keep them to myself. <laughs> yeah, there are so many uh, things you could do, really, and uh, yeah. Um, and also, I mean, if you teach it online, I think that's also nice if you can have people all over the world yeah, joining your, your workshop. But of course, doing it in person, that mm -hmm. is again something completely different with a different dynamic, I guess, and um, very rewarding. So, um, but yeah, until now, we have to settle with the online world. And uh, I think 
it's good fun and i hope it will stay in the future too i i think uh particularly for festivals i think it's everything is going to be hybrid uh when things go back to normal so uh the the, the companies and the theaters that have built uh the technology and the equipment and the expertise to do it uh in a hybrid way i think they're going to have a real edge because If I can't go to a festival for whatever reason, I can't afford it, but I would love to dial in. I'll pay yeah. half price yeah. uh, for just to be able to watch it, to watch some of my favorite people teach and, and to do things. I think that would be great. And, I, and I, I teach hybrid classes in at my university, and they're difficult, but you can make them work. Yeah. yeah. I actually attended a hybrid uh, class. It was Meisner technique. Ah. Yeah, I was only a viewer. But the teacher was in the States. The students were in Antwerp in a room together, and we were just observing as audience. It yeah. was very nice, actually. It was, Great. yeah, kind of strange, but, <laughs> but nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, so, I mean, a year ago, a year ago is when the, uh, the World Health Organization declared this. I mean, think about the growth that has happened in the past year. Think about how you've changed, how you've how people have adapted uh, in this medium, and and I know uh, there's a, there's so much negative stuff uh, to think about the death and and, and everything else, but the uh, some of the real adaptations in, in spirit has just been really amazing and inspiring. Yeah. Like I said, I've learned more in the last year than probably in the last three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's true. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't wish it. I wish, wouldn't wish it on anyone, though. No. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, you make the best of it. Yeah, and I, I think it's yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. It, it it brought up you guys. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> True. Yeah, we started just before the pandemic, uh, and we had two uh, shows on stage, and then in uh, in March last year, everything stopped. So uh, I think between March and now, Desi, I think we've seen each other three times or four. Wow. Um, but yeah, we, yeah, if, yeah, in Brussels, uh, when there was a little period that uh, we could do again uh, rehearsals uh, in, a, in, in, in a room together. Yeah, then we had we've done that. Uh, but then again, there was a lockdown. Uh, so um, yeah, so. I'm, a, I'm starting a duos class in a couple weeks uh, with a partner who I've never met in person. And we've, we only met on an online class. And so we're deciding to take this duos class together and see what will happen. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> It's perfect. Yeah. Welcome to the 21st century. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're particularly happy about it, but yeah, it, it really is. Can you what feel it? it? <laughs> yes, I really, I really can. I really can. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I think that we, we are doing the best we can. Yeah, I mean, we have a, we do yeah. so much and we do so many so much improv, and I know physically it will be better, but 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 then again we miss a lot if we just do that yeah so yep. our plan is i think to continue a lot with online oh, mm -hmm. combined with physical improv offline doing real performance in front of an audience and have a nice combination of the two i think we could combine the two worlds yes absolutely yeah, yeah I'm, i'm looking forward to that it's going to be an tra uh, interesting transition yeah. to the real world again. yeah definitely definitely mm. Thank you for playing with us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much for asking Thank me. I, was, I, I had a lot of fun. The, the, the time went by very quickly. I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Okay, excellent. So send us a couple of links. We put it on our page uh, so people can find you on all the workshops you're doing. Okay. And then... I'm only, uh, only doing one, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, I will bring us offline. So uh, everyone watching, many thanks. Thank you. And, uh, see you Ciao. next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>